Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, your man from Movie Picks, and this is part one of our eight-part tutorial series we're calling Basic Training for Premiere Elements. In this series, we're going to look at some of the basics of the program and how it works. We'll show you where to find the tools and what the tools do, and hopefully we'll inspire you to dig deeper into the program. To launch Premiere Elements from the home screen or the hub, you simply go over here to the Video Editor button and click on that. And if you've used earlier versions of the program, you may be surprised at the way it looks. It looks kind of dramatically different and looks an awful lot like the professional version of Premiere. That's not an accident as they're trying to make it sort of a hybrid version that incorporates both the consumer version and the professional version of the editing program. A great many of the tools you're going to use and a great many of the workspaces you're going to use will pop open with buttons along the left and the right hand side of the program. So if we go over here, we've got Add Media, we've got Project Assets. When I click on these, it opens up a little window. where we can see the assets that are available to us. If you go over to the right hand side, uh, these tools become available as you add media to the timeline. We'll take a look at them a little bit later in the program. But if you look at the top center of the program, you'll notice there's both a quick and an advanced mode for the program or a quick and advanced view. Don't be intimidated by the word advanced. It's not terribly advanced. It's just a little more like the professional version of Premiere. The quick view is a quick and easy workspace for putting together a video. There are also guided edits, and these guided edits are kind of walkthroughs or step-by-step -step processes for creating video effects or different video adjustments. But that's a whole separate tutorial. Let's go over to the quick editing workspace briefly. The quick editing workspace is designed for you to quickly get up and running and put together a video. So to add media to your video and to your timeline, you simply go over to the plus button here in the upper left hand corner, add media and select the option to select media from files and folders. And here we can add media to the program. And when we add it, it is automatically added, not just to the project itself, but directly to the timeline. A little bit different in the advanced view where the media is added to a project assets panel from which you can draw them and then place the media onto the timeline. Once the media is added to your timeline, you have two video tracks in the quick view. You'll have many more in the professional or the advanced view of the program. And you have the audio that is included with your video and one other audio track that you can use either for recording narration or for adding music. Once our media is added to the timeline, we can hover over either end of the clip and drag in to trim the beginning or end off our media clip. We can, by selecting the tools along the right-hand side of the program, add transitions, effects, adjust the effects, or use various tools to edit or to add effects to the movie. Now this is a little more full featured than the old version of the quick view in Premiere Elements, but is rather limited. It's designed, like I say, to quickly put together a video and then to output it. To output your movie, you just go up to export and share in the upper right hand corner and select the option for output from here. As for some of the tools we looked at there, let's close this and go back into the workspace. As for some of the tools we saw here, we can close some of these panels by clicking on the X in the upper left hand corner. As for some of the tools we looked at along the right and left hand side of the program, we'll take a deeper look at those as we get deeper into this tutorial series. But those are the basics of the Quick View workspace. We're going to spend most of our time in the advanced view because that's where we have access to many more tools and many more options. That's as we edit and go into basic training here with Premiere Elements 2025. I hope you join me for part two of this series.